for the week of January 25th through January 31st. Okay, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. Um, so, for those of you who have been following the channel, you know this is something new that I started in order to kind of give you guys more information, more, more content to help you out through the weeks better. Through all the weeks. We just gonna rock with it, okay? Um, also, tune in for your midweek motivation and, of course, anything else. Just hit the notification bell button because there'll be a lot of stuff coming. Um, so, y'all know I don't like a place a lot of time. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and love. Monday, on January the 25th, you will still be kind of feeling some of the effects of last week, which was a cosmic doozy. Very emotional, probably. You'll still be feeling some of the same energy with that. Keep my notebook right here. You'll still be feeling some of the same energy with that, and people will not have let some of those things go. You'll still have people bringing up slightly old things that should be resolved, that are resolved, possibly resolved for you and not resolved for them, or vice versa. So you just want to be aware of that, be mindful of that, and not get drawn into those conversations. If I said what I said last week and I meant what I said last week, that has not changed. You're entitled to your thoughts and opinions, and I am entitled to mine, so I'm moving on about my way. And that's basically where you are with that on Monday. Now, on Tuesday, we move into the less emotional sign of Aquarius. Or, you know, it's the age of Aquarius. So we're moving into that less emotional side to where they're not going to be able to make you cry or pull you in as angrily or love bomb you so much that you just are overflowing with emotion like they were last week. Now you're gonna be in that settled, okay, I feel it, but I'm not gonna react to it. You're gonna move into that kind of groove. And on Wednesday, well, Tuesday and Wednesday, you need to look at your decision making and question your, your decisions. You need to question your decisions, and I never tell people to second guess themselves, but you do need to know whether you're making your decisions based off of ego or from your heart are you with this person and speaking of your love life are you with this person because you love them or because your ego says that's who you should be with because they fit the criteria because people expect you to because you put so much time into it that your ego won't let you say you wasted that time why are you with them because you love them or why are they with you you have to look at it from every angle and you have to honestly evaluate yourself and be honest with yourself about those things. If it's your job or your finances, am I, am I a doctor because I love helping people or am I a doctor because my ego told me I should be? Do I want to be in management because I want, because I'm good at it or be, and because this is what I truly want to do or is it an ego thing for me? You need to really sit back and reflect on those decisions, not saying that you have to up and quit your job that day, but you need to be aware of why you're making the decisions or up and leave your relationship. You need to be aware of why you're there, why you're in that situation so that you can make the right decisions going forward. What you So you'll know in the future what to hold on to and what to let go of because that season is coming sooner than you think. So... Tuesday and Wednesday, you need to sit with those thought processes and figure out whether you're making your decisions and living your life based out of your heart or out of your ego. So if your answer is ego, then you probably need to just figure out what your heart wants to do. Maybe your heart and your ego are in complete and utter balance right now. That would be difficult to do, but all things are possible. Again, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. Also, on Wednesday, you need to focus on love. Focus on the greater good because as you're looking at whether you're in your heart or your ego, why you're making the decisions that you're making, it'll be very easy to try to forget about the rest of the world or forget about what's best for uh 
the environment or the world or whatever the case may be, the universe, the all of it. You, it's easy to forget about everything and be completely and utterly self-centered. And I have nothing wrong. I think there's nothing wrong with being selfish. But at some point, there has to be some kind of give and take. You can't burn down the forest to because you need a piece of paper. You see what I'm saying? So you need to focus on love and the greater good. Try to do something charitable that day because there are some changes cosmically that are coming that are going to require you to have that good karma. So start putting that good work out there this week. Okay? So as we are talking about cosmic changes on Thursday, January the 28th, one of my favorite days of the year, the day I gave birth to one of my favorite people, to my absolute favorite person, will be a full moon in Leo. So, <sighs> there'll be uh, people wanting to fight for their right to party, to do whatever they want to do. I want to be free-spirited, pushing through. This is what I want. Um, but you'll regain all of the things that you lost last week. You won't regain those specific things, but those emotional things, those ties, those things that are coming back to you, you'll fall in balance. You'll find your balance in diplomacy. There'll be some, there'll have to be some balance acquired on this day. So it's the full moon in Leo, and that has the tendency to be over the top. Great, fun, exciting, but over the freaking top. Like you're gonna want to do too much. People around you are gonna be doing too much. It's magnificent, but it's over the top. You got to rein it in. So for your full moon ritual, this would be a good time for you to release pride and ego. So you know you do your full moon rituals where you write down the things that you're releasing. You fold them away from you. You burn your palo santo. You burn your sage. You sit by the water. You release those things. You know, very lightweight. Just very lightweight rituals that you can do during full moons. Most people have their own full moon setups, their full moon rituals. They take their spiritual baths, yada, 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 which is great. This is a time where you release your pride and ego because they cause blockages in your chakras. So you want to move those things out of the way, okay? And this is also a time that you need to accept the fact that some friendships that are lost will remain lost. You can't bring everybody back. You can't resurrect some old friendships. Even though you miss them or whatever the case may be, this is the time where you accept that you guys just went down different paths. You might not know what's ahead six years from now, but it's not something that you should be counting on, waiting on. Release those things, those friendships, those relationships that you're waiting, hoping that they, they come back to you. Give a dog a bone. Leave a dog alone. Let a dog roam and he'll find his way home. Maybe he will. Maybe he got hit by a car. We don't fucking know. So, you can't be sitting at home waiting on that damn dog to come back with that bone and he done got ran over by 18 wheeler. You gonna be sitting there for a long time. So, release it. Let it go. Maybe you'll buy a puppy. Who knows? So, um, that's where you're at on Thursday. So, release those ego, those pride things, those ended relationships that you keep holding on to, release those things on that full moon in Leo, okay? They're good for that. Um, on Friday, you'll still be finding your balance. And you'll find your balance. And I don't mean just find your balance. You know how we've been talking about ego and pride and self-centeredness. You'll find your balance between what you need and what the people around you need and what the collective needs and you'll find your balance there on Friday. That's what you should be aware of. Not focused on, but just aware of because it comes to you gently. These things come gently the majority of the time, okay? You just have to be in a peaceful space. You have to be listening. You need to sit, meditate, get in the sauna, go for a swim, go relax, go for a run, go for a hike, whatever it is that brings you back to your center space. And when you get to your center space, that balance will be there for you and help you and help you find 
how to navigate between what you want and what is best for the people that you love. Because at the end of the day, even though you may want to be a millionaire, millionaire, if the only way you can become a millionaire is by losing everyone that you love, you'll find a way to create a balance to where you don't have to choose to where everybody won't win. Everybody can't win all the time, but it doesn't have to be such a detrimental loss for everyone else for you to win. And you'll find peace in that. And you'll figure it out. So far, they just be expecting those downloads, those things, especially if you do the releasing ritual of ego and pride with that full moon, okay? And your creativity might be popping on Friday. You'll be thinking of ideas. Maybe not acting on them, but thinking of them. And you just need to write them down. Keep them, because you'll need to come back to them soon. Keep them, okay? Um, so on Saturday, there'll be a little bit of mer still mer Mercury retrograde, but it's not in heavy full effect. It's going to make you reflect on 2021, even though 2021 has just started for the Western calendar year. It's going to make you reflect on this past month. It's been a heavy month, y'all. January 2021 has been a heavy month. So it's going to make you reflect on this month that may have seemed like six months. And you'll realize that it's behind you and not ahead of you. Okay? Because on Sunday, your moon, our moon, enters into Virgo. And Virgo comes with no with no nonsense, and we come to restore that balance that we were thinking about on Friday. That we felt like we lost on Wednesday or Tuesday, and y'all know these days can can be completely jumbled together. But for the most part, this is where those energies are residing. You live in full moon energy for three days before and three days after. So just be aware of where you are, what you're doing, why you're doing it, and the balance that needs to be created between the two, okay? Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. If you need a deeper reading as far as your own personal life, please go to thegoodwitch.com and book your readings. For your spiritual supplies and your moon rituals or any other ritual that you could possibly need, go to the Good Witch Supply Store because there is a store online for me that you can get all your candles, your herbs, your incense, your stones, your crystals, your singing bowls, your jewelry, all of that stuff. You can get all of that stuff from the Good Witch Supply Store. And that also has a link to the Good Witch where I can conjure things for you. And you can also go to thegoodwish.com for your readings. There's so many things. Just check out the description. <sighs> if there's a need that you feel like you need that I can't, that you don't feel like I meet yet, leave it for me in the comments, of course, in love. Leave it for me in the comments. Don't say anything gross. And <laughs> I will be right there for you, okay? Remember, thank you for being a part of my life. And thank you, thank you for allowing me to be a part of yours. The good way, y'all.